OK, Carl. This is a, a, a logical conundrum. Um, to a certain extent, there's a little bit of lateral thinking because... Uh, but there is only one right answer. Um, now, the pressure here isn't to get this right. The pressure is when I've told you the answer, to then understand it. Because I've still... When I've explained this to people, I've laid out for them, they still can't quite get the concept. Um, OK, so, there's two doors, Carl. Yep. One leads to heaven, right. one leads to hell. Yep. OK, they're identical, you can't tell them apart. OK, 50-50. Right. Obviously, you want to go to heaven, I assume. Right, yep. there's two guards, identical guards, guarding each door. OK? Right. The one guarding hell always tells a lie. The one guarding heaven always tells the truth. You have to ask one question to find out which, which is which and then go through the door you want. What question do you ask? I've only got one? Yeah. And what, one to, to both? No, one to either of them. You don't know which one's which, though. So what question do you ask? Why can't I ask, like, both of them one? Because it's because not the, the rules. Because the rules are you can only ask one. There aren't actually two doors labelled heaven and hell, Carl. That's this a leap of imagination here. And I've, I've, I've definitely got to, answer, I've got to ask them a question. I can't just sort of have a feel of the door <laughs> to see if there's any heat or anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're identical. You stand a few yards away. You cannot tell from the outside of these doors which is which. What question do you ask? I can't look through the keyhole or anything. There's no key anywhere near them. Um, Let's imagine there's a small rope that prevents you from getting anywhere near, rather like outside a nightclub. Yeah. So, they stood there. Yeah. They both look the same, they're both smiling. Yeah. But one of them's not really smiling, really. He's trying to make me make a mistake, isn't he? Well, he's just going to lie when you ask him a question, if you ask him. So what's the point in asking a question? Do I know one of them's going to lie? Yeah. But would they be neighbours like this? Would they be that close? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, we're not sure if these two guys get on. Oh, well, I'll tell you the answer. No, then... no, no, I want to see if he can get it. He's almost there. Uh, no, he's not almost there. What am I thinking? So, no, hang on. Right, so you go up and you yeah. go... Um, you right, go... hang on. Well, look, let's, let's, imagine that, let's imagine Ricky and I are those two guys. OK? Right? But we have to... Um, uh, uh, well, well me, and, me and Steve would decide which doors we're guarding, OK? Right. Uh, I'm... Uh, look, look away, Carl. OK, right, then. So we've decided, OK, one of us is guarding hell and one of us is guarding heaven. Which question are you going to ask and who are you going to ask it to? Right, um, I'll just say to you, Steve, I'll go... Uh, uh, got some... Uh, got some post for God here. <laughs> That's not a question. That's a statement. Right, you've got some posts for God here. No, that's not a question. Yeah, maybe right. the question's coming. I got, you've got some posts for God here, yeah. Uh, and it needs to be signed. It's, it's not a, a question. Still not a question. No, let so him finish. Is, is God in because I need him to sign for this post? Is he in? Well, I can answer that as well if you want. Go on. Y he's, yeah, he's in. He's behind my door. Do you want to answer it? Well, yes. Do you, want, do you want to get him? Just. Uh... Well, no, you've only got one question. So you are, you're asking Steve, is God in? What's the answer? Yes. Ask me. Yes. Look, lads, I'm just trying to do a job here. <laughs> um, what am I going to do with this? Well, give it to me and I'll give it to God because he's behind my door. Steve? Yeah, give it to me and I'll take it into God because he's behind my door. You're an idiot. Uh, let me tell you the answer. I'm guarding hell, by the way. I'm the devil. Steve's God, OK? So you ask me what, what Steve would say if you asked him what door he was guarding and I'm going to lie. I know he'd say heaven, because he'd tell the truth, but I'm lying, so I'd say he'd say hell. So the, the, uh, the question is, if I was to ask the other one what door he was guarding, what would he say? And whatever the person answers is the door they're guarding. Steve, what door are you, are you looking after? Well, heaven. Yeah. Why should I believe you? Because you don't know. No, that doesn't work. Because you asked me the same, and I'd say heaven as well. Right, so who do we believe? This is where you use your gut feeling, though, isn't it? This is what drives... <laughs> <laughs> well, as opposed to the pure logic that Ricky's just used. I just think, because there's a lot of <laughs> questions in life where you don't know the answer and you go, do you know what? I don't like the look of him. <laughs> so... They're I, identical. Yeah, but they're still identical twins. You always get a little snidey one. 